Hey, this is Jake with Refresh Pressure Cleaning. This is going to be our first video for our new YouTube channel. Um, this is new to us, but we wanted to get in on the action and see everybody posting YouTube videos and figured why not, you know, we'd go ahead and maybe try to post one every couple weeks, maybe once a month, I don't know, see how it goes. But uh, we're also online, if you want to check us out, www.refreshpressurecleaning.com or you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at RefreshClean05. Um, this first video, uh, just shooting from the hip, you know, no script or nothing like that. Uh, we're gonna kind of send it out here for the new guys. Maybe you're seeing your buddy who's been out there pressure cleaning, making some money, you're thinking about maybe starting your own business, or maybe you've been doing it on the side like I did for 10 years and just never knew all the tricks of the trade and didn't know, you know, what was next, where do you start, you know, if you really want to make a business. So um, this little video here, I'm just going to do for maybe a new guy that's just wanting some information. And um, basically, um, you know, there's there's a few things you need to know if you're wanting to start a pressure cleaning business. Um, one is, you know, who is your target market going to be? That's the, the first and foremost of what kind of equipment you need to buy and everything in between. But who is your target market and what are you going to do for your target market? Is it going to be commercial, residential? Is it going to be high-end residential, low-end residential? Is it going to be storefronts? Is it going to be roofs? Is it going to be concrete, deck restoration? What is it? So you got to narrow it down and figure out what do you want to do. And then the next thing is going to be equipment. What kind of equipment do you need? Well, you can go to Home Depot and uh, you can you know pick one off the shelf, but uh, they're not really going to give you quality um, and really just the overall um, freedom that a lot of these other machines give you. Um, you, you, you take a 2.8 gallon machine, a minute machine versus a 4 gallon a minute machine and it's night and day difference. You know, you take a 4 gallon a minute machine, go against an 8 gallon a minute machine. It's a, it's a huge difference. So it's definitely, um, I hear a lot of guys, you know, that want to talk about starting a pressure cleaning business and they're you know, wanting to find the highest PSI and, and it's really not about pressure. Uh, it is on certain situations but let's say for a home, uh, vinyl sided home, you know, uh, really you're wanting the gallons per minute get that chemical up as high as you can. Um, you know, how we do here at Refresh, we very rarely use ladders unless we just have to. We have some amazing tips that the uh, industries came out with and it's really been unbelievable um, from the days we used to have to use ladders and everything else but uh, so find you a good machine um, if you can afford it uh, get you a belt driven machine um, 3500 4000 psi pushing around four gallons a minute that'd be a great starter uh, cold water's fine um, you know if you're not going to be doing a lot of heavy machinery and, and stuff like that Always, what I, we like to do is we always carry three units with us on the trailer. That way, if one goes down, we got a backup. If that one happens to go down, we got an extra backup and uh, to get us out of a, a bad situation. But if you can afford it, um, get you that high, higher dollar machine. You know, you can probably pick a good 4,000 psi, four gallon a minute Honda is what we like um, for around 1,500 bucks or less, and um, and then maybe have you a little backup, you know, machine. Uh, if you're having to start out with a low budget machine, well then just work towards getting that bigger machine as fast as possible, then using your use your budget machine as your backup. Um, uh, next, I would say is, um, you know, really just using common sense, you know, out there, uh, especially say marketing. Um, you're excited, you're starting a new business, you got a good machine, you figure out who you're gonna target. Uh, now don't don't go out and knock on every door and put flyers out there saying that you're gonna you know be the ten dollar a house guy. You know you don't want to do that. You know you, you can go out here and, and short sell yourself, and it's really not hurting anybody but you. And you know you get a whole whole bunch of work, but at the end of the day you're making less than minimum wage. You know so have you a minimum? Um, have a focus on where you want to be. Always expand the top and diminish the bottom. You know you always want your customer base, your database uh, growing and 
also the bottom line growing. You know, let's say if you got 10 customers and they all average $150 a yearly house cleaning, okay? Well, uh, let's say the next year you're adding new people and that, that average goes up to 200. You know, that, that's, a, that's a big jump. You know, $150 a house at 100 people, 15 grand, right? Okay, $200 a house at 100 people, 20 grand. You just make five more grand still doing 100 houses. Um, so get you a minimum, expand that top, diminish the bottom. Um, and uh, always have your insurance, guys. You know, you need to be insured. Uh, makes the customer feel better. Uh, should give you a lot more peace of mind. And it's, you know, get your business license. Uh, come up with a creative name. Uh, we like logomaker.com when we first started. They helped us out. Uh, Wix, W-I-X, uh, is a great, great starter website. Uh, they have all kind of templates to get you started. And uh, you can just plug in your pictures and type in your info, and it's real easy. Uh, we use Square on our payments. We take cash, check, uh, or credit card, and we run it through Square. Real easy process, again, all free. Um, you know, besides, of course, they hit you with a percentage per charge for swipe on square but as far as the sign up get your little card reader that's all free there's a lot of things you can do on your own you don't have to have this marketing guru that works for you starting out um, it's going to take a lot of hard work on your end but if you go out there and you really put your mind to it and you know try to find however you can you can get your name out there you know uh, building uh, Facebook, you know, get all your friends and your friends and family to promote you and share it with their friends and, you know, really doing some creative ads and uh, running some five, ten dollar ads on Facebook, you know, at certain times of the week and day. And, um, you know, it's just really thinking outside the box and knowing who your target market is, having good equipment when you go out there, having a minimum, having a standard for your business of have kind of, you know, always bring quality all your services you know the more um, the more people know that you care and the, the better customer service you give it's going to snowball effect and people are just going to refer you and after that first 12 months that first 18 months that first 24 months um, that snowball is just going to keep accumulating and accumulating more traffic more referrals and um, it could be a really good thing Thanks for watching our first video. Again, my name is Jake. Uh, we're going to be back on here hopefully in another couple weeks with something else. If you got any comments, any questions, I'll try my best to answer it. I'm not an expert by any, by any means, but I'm pretty happy uh, where we're at as a company and where we're going. And um, the Lord's been good to us. And I uh, just want to kind of feed back in to the, the guys out there when we get started. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.